Most of the resources that we use to build infrastructure in our expanding cities come from the ground and can be exhausted. Researchers continue to develop new materials which are cost-effective and sustainable to produce, but also offer good performance and life cycle. Materials engineers like the CSIR's Dr. Joe Mapiravana look at the development, production and application aspects of engineering materials such as metals, ceramics, concrete, glass and polymers. Materials engineers are typically involved in the research, development and application of engineering materials. Typically you find materials engineers in the production of uh, steel components for manufacture of car engines, manufacture of aeroplanes, manufacture of ceramics, bridges, anything that's man-made. At the CSR, I'm involved in the research, development and application of construction materials. For example, I've been involved in the development of a high-performance cement blend. Essentially, the idea is to come up with a blend with a strength which is superior to that from an ordinary Portland cement, which is greener, cheaper, and also more durable. This work is important to society because when you make your cement greener, it means you are not going to affect climate change negatively. Of course, the cost aspect is, is, is obvious. You can produce more from less. And if you make it sustainable, you can stretch the limited resources that we have. Typically, a materials engineer is the type of person who is hands-on, is the type of person who likes to make things, to manufacture stuff. In South Africa, to pursue a materials engineering career, one typically needs to have a first degree in the physical sciences, physics, chemistry, mathematics, or any of the other engineering disciplines such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering. One can then pursue a master's degree in materials engineering. I enjoy working at the CSR because it's a long established a research and development organization with a high quality, world class research infrastructure, and there's opportunities to interface with other disciplines for synergy. <laughs>